Hi there. Welcome back to the English class. Welcome back to being more. Yesterday in the previous video, we introduced ourselves to Mr. Nick Vujic, the awesome man. Today, we will address the same lesson, but we will look into the question answers. So, how did you feel about Mr. Nick Vujic? Was it inspiring? Yes. Did it fill you with confidence? Let's look into the question answers. This chapter is a biographical extract from a website called Daily Mail. And one more thing, how many of you find it difficult to write answers to questions? Quite a few of you. Let me tell you one thing. What are questions? Questions are just trying to emphasize on the most important parts of any lesson. So, if you know your lesson, if you've read it, if you've understood it, the answer to the question is nothing but and one of those important parts of the chapter. So, if you put all the answers together, what do you get? The chapter again. So, answers are right there in front of you. You just have to listen and understand the chapter. Let's see. Attitude is altitude. Comprehension section. Question 1. Let's go through. I call it my chicken drumstick, joked Nick. What does it refer to and how does it help him? Remember, Nick was born just with a torso and a head and no arms and legs, but he had a tiny foot on the left side of his hip. That was his chicken drumstick. How did it help him? It helped him run, kick a football, swim, surf, it also helped him pick up things with his toes. He could also type on the computer with the toes on that little foot. So that's what's written here. So if you knew your chapter, you know the answer. Also mention that Nick was born without arms or legs due to a congenital condition called phocomelia. Include that in the answer. The second question. What do you mean by right girl or boy to marry? We spoke about Nick in the chapter that he waited for the right person to come into his life so that he could marry her. Now, what is the right person? A person who understands you completely, who accepts you the way you are and not complain about what you have, what you don't have. Yes, also the right person will help you achieve your dreams alongside their dreams. It always works in tandem. The right life partner will always give you equal importance. So that's what we've written here. Helping us fulfill our dreams alongside their dreams is what the right partner would do. Question 3. His parents decided not to send him to a special school. Was Nick happy about his parents' decision? Why and why not? What do you think about this decision? Remember, when Nick was born, his parents were aghast. They were shocked to see a baby like that. But later on, they gathered their senses and then they thought to themselves, so what? Let's make our child good enough, as good as the rest of the ordinary children around him. That is why they decided not to send him to a special school. He will go to a regular school and he will do exactly what the other kids do. Was Nick happy about his parents' decision? Initially, no. Why? Because remember, he was teased, he was bullied because of his looks. So initially, it was very difficult for him. He even slipped into a depression. What do you think about this decision then? Though Nick was initially unhappy, let's see this sentence. Though this was a perfect decision taken by the parents, it did do good for Nick in the long run. He had to endure teasing and bullying by other students. So what happens? Sometimes a good decision is hard for you. You will not know the importance of that good decision your parents have taken for you at that time. Down the years, later on in life, you'll realize Oh, now I know why my parents took that decision. You might have felt very bad and very hard, 
but always understand the take decisions keeping the future in mind. Question 4. How did Nick's parents help him become independent? Nick's parents, his mother was a nurse, father was an accountant. How did they help him? They made sure Nick grew up like any ordinary kid. They prepared him right from childhood. That's where you have to mold yourself from childhood. Don't think after college, maybe when I'm 20, I'll change myself and become an amazing person. No, it starts now. He was taught swimming when he was only a year and a half. He was taught to run and kick a football even though he had just one tiny foot. And his mother, she made a special device which helped him hold a pencil and write. His father taught him to type on the computer with his tiny toes. So this, these are the efforts of his parents to make Nick independent. Question 6. Pick out the symptoms of Nick's depression. Do you think his depression was normal or something unique about him? Give reasons for your opinion. Remember, when Nick was 8 years old, he used to go to his mother crying, saying that he did not wish to live. That was the first sign of depression and his mother immediately observed that. Later on, Nick even tried to kill himself. Remember, he tried to drown in the bathtub. Now, that is a sure shot sign of depression. But his parents were smart enough. They gave him support of religion, family, friends, and they pulled him out. Now, is it normal to feel depression? Absolutely. Life is full of ups and downs. It's normal to be affected by the unpleasant actions that happen in our life and feel disappointed and depressed. It's normal. But what is that you should do then? You must not bow down to depression. Come out of it. Find support. Find help. Our life is filled with experiences both good and bad. The troubles we face tend to get us depressed just like Nick. Question 6. Which incident in this text is funny? What makes it funny? This is my opinion. There are two incidents in this chapter that were funny. One was when the children would walk up to Nick and ask him, What happened to you? Why are you like this? And Nick would whisper to them, cigarettes. So I find this very funny. Why? This is so witty of him. How he used his disability to fill kids with fear towards the very action of smoking instead of making them feel sorry for him. Now I find that very witty and it shows the humorous side of Nick. But you can choose the other incident too where at the traffic signal when Nick was at his driver's seat and a lady in the next car was looking at him, he did the 360 degrees flip and scared the wits out of her. That too is a funny incident. You can mention that if you wish. Question 7. What made Nick choose Bethany Hamilton as his teacher to learn surfing? Bethany Hamilton was a master of surfing, but she lost her entire arm when she was 12 years old to a shark bite. But did that stop her? No. She learned to accept her body and progress the way she is. So what better teacher for Nick rather than Bethany Hamilton? She taught him that it's okay if you don't have hands or legs. You just have to use your body to balance yourself on the surfing board. So that's what made Nick choose Bethany Hamilton as his teacher to learn surfing. Question 9. Which aspect of Nick's physical condition helps him do a 360 degree spin? Now imagine yourself, your tall body, your long hands and legs. Is it possible for you to do an easy flip? No, a little clumsy unless you're a perfect gymnast. But for Nick, he did not have any other body parts except the head 
and the torso and a tiny leg to balance on. So it was very easy for him, though with a lot of practice, to do the 360 degrees flip wherever he was sitting. So I would say the absence of limbs and having just a torso makes it specially convenient for Nick to perform his famous 360 degree spin. Tenth question, what are the distinct features of this text? That means this article that we've read as a chapter, what are its extraordinary features that makes it different from other lessons? Let's list them. The distinct features of this reading are, first, it is a biographical excerpt from the Daily Mail website. Biographical means telling the events of a real life story. And in this case, Nick Vujicic. Second, this content is message oriented. It's telling all of you that you must make the most of yourself. Everyone is born with positive qualities. Concentrate on that and not the negative side of you. Next, persuasive language has been used. Persuasive means motivating, that is helping you, encouraging you to do better in life. Next, a real life, real person's life story has been used to send across motivational content. You must learn from others' lives how to make your life better. That's where your wisdom is. Question 10. What do you learn from the life, life of Nick Vujicic? Remember, I emphasized on a word called perseverance not giving up, continuous hard work. That is the essence of this lesson. Nick's life is a perfect example of how one should make one's destiny, your future. How can you make your future out of what life has presented us? Whatever you have, that is what you have to use. We do not choose our body or looks. We are born with them, yes? So pride or shame concerning your body totally depends on your perception of yourself. If you look at your mirror in the mirror and only see your flaws, you are not respecting yourself. Your parents have made you with huge dreams. They know you're capable of much more. So do not see the flaws in yourself. We can garner, that means get or fetch, respect and love in our life with our behavior and achievements. With our behavior and achievements, as I told you, there is no need to look beautiful. All you have to do is have good behavior, attitude, and then achievements will fall at your feet. Question 11. Do you think disability is an obstacle to achieve success in life. If you feel that being disabled is an obstacle, then all those people in this world who are able, who are perfectly fine, how come they are not always a success? Yes, to be successful, there is no excuse. You cannot say, I don't have this and therefore I am not this, no. If disability is an obstacle to achieve success, then all the able ones in this world should have been successful. But that is not the case. Success is achieved not only by our abilities, but also by our perseverance and hard work. Nick's life story is absolute proof to this fact. Despite being born without arms or legs, Nick is a successful and a happy person. Credit goes to what? To his never say die attitude. That's how you should be. The zeal, the enthusiasm in you should never let you stop. Always have a positive outlook. If you fail, no problem. I'll try again. Positivity. So these were the question answers of this amazing man in this background. In the next video, we shall look into how adjectives have been used in this chapter. This chapter has described Nick, it has described his life. So wherever there is description, there are adjectives. 
and we'll also spot the sentences where all these adjectives have shown up in this reading. See you soon.